Hi, my name is Matt Bowler, and I'm getting ready to log into the Cisco 3550 Layer 3 switch that I have sitting in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and type in the password, which is Cisco, all lowercase. Try it once more. That's odd. Uh, it looks like either I have mistyped my password three times, four times, five times, six times, which is unlikely, or uh, the last time I accessed this switch and did a configuration, I mistyped the password for my console port. So this would actually be a really good time to go ahead and discuss password recovery on switches can vary a little bit on a router. Uh, the one of the main differences is the prompt that you'll see once we get into ROMMON or uh, switch mode. So I'm going to go ahead and power cycle this device and to enter the ROMMON mode there is a button located on the front of the switch where you can select uh, one of the several modes where the uh, well, I can't list them off the top of my head, but there's a, a mode button that you can use to select the different modes listed on the front there. And you hold that down. Go ahead and power cycle. Restart the switch, and we'll watch this process. You can see I'm connected through an Ethernet cable as well. I just dropped my connection there show a couple different ways of how we can access that old configuration file and recover that password. We'll take a look at the password that is uh, on the configuration whether it's a secret or just a clear text password and if it is possible to uh, recover a secret password which it is, hint hint and a, it's a hash that can be cracked. You could probably find a, a website on the internet where you can go ahead and paste in that hash. So you can see here it pauses as I hold down the front button and we'll see a message here. Interrupt within five seconds to abort the boot process. So I'll hit it once more to interrupt that. And we have the switch prompt here. If I hit the question mark and hit enter, you see a list of commands here. This doesn't necessarily operate uh, exactly like the Cisco IOS since this is basically a stripped down version with only the most basic commands. If you remember from the syslog and TFTP lab that I have out there, I discussed recovering uh, a lost or corrupted image through the xmodem file transfer method and before I get started on the password recovery I'll show you how you can go ahead and do that you can see here we've got uh, the ability to copy a file, we can delete files we can list files that are in directories uh, in order to actually perform the password recovery and rename the file we'll have to initialize the flash if I do a directory of flash you can see all the files listed there so we've got our config.txt our syslog file, we've got our image, the VLAN information file there and some other miscellaneous files listed down here but with the xmodem transfer, if I do a copy and question mark, you see you can copy the source file and destination file. just want to do a directory here to list the directories. You see just below flash is our xmodem directory. So if I were to copy from xmodem to the flash, say I want to re replace, uh, say I didn't have this uh, image on here and I needed to replace that image, I could do a copy 
X modem colon and whatever the file name is of the image and I would paste it in uh, just past that X modem command and then I would actually paste it to the flash directory using that same file name and when I hit enter I'm not going to do it here but it'll show you it's essentially waiting for that X modem transfer and then through TerraTerm or Hyper Terminal or whatever terminal program you're using uh, this is TerraTerm I go to the file menu and then I can transfer a file through X modem and I'll actually send the file that I want to transfer and it's going to send at the baud rate of uh, 9600 which is ridiculously slow so the f the switch is awaiting that transfer and then when I go to file transfer X modem and send it'll begin sending that data through the console cable which is uh, which is how I'm connected right now and once that transfer is complete depending on the file size it can take several hours actually uh, on one of my 2950s this the file size is about three megabytes and by altering the the uh, speed the baud you can see right here I'm connected at 9600 which is the default for a serial connection at f uh, let's see our options here for the serial ports uh, Cisco recommends 115 115 1200 uh, that's what the documentation on their website says for a file transfer at 3 megabytes that took me about 20 minutes or so 15 or 20 minutes and to alter that uh, to speed up your process you can see I'll pull down my commands options here and I can set the baud hit set and we can see here's the variables we we're booting using the flash iOS image, the MAC address, this is the base MAC address so we can see all these which we don't want to alter and we're not too concerned about but if I want to hard code a separate baud rate I would enter in uh, set baud and I would set it to uh, 115 Set baud 115 200.